Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 11th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the block code and code tags in HTML. Now, I have a very simple HTML document uh, opened up in my text editor notepad++ here and uh, on line 1 in this file I have my doc type declaration and then on line number 2 I have the opening HTML tag. In the head section in between the title tags I have the title of the document which is block code tags as you can see and then in the body section I've got a couple of paragraphs. So the first paragraph has a text Forrest Gump's mom always said my code. And then on line number eight, I have another paragraph tag, opening paragraph tag for another paragraph, which is uh, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And then this paragraph is getting close. And then on line number 10, I'm closing the paragraph that I open on line number seven. Right. So it's a very simple document. Let me show you guys how this looks uh, when I open it in a web browser. So this is how it looks. And uh, you have sentence number one on uh, the first line. And then as another paragraph, you have the next sentence. Now, you know, since this is a quotation and it's one of my favorite quotes from, uh, you know, any or all the movies that I've seen uh, in my life this far, you know, I love this film and I love this uh, quote in particular. So since it is a quote, you know, it would make sense if we would indent it by a few characters and display it as indented text, right? And uh, there are a lot of ways in which we can achieve that. Firstly, we can use a pre-tag and we can have a few characters of space here and you know obviously we'll have to match the font and all so that it doesn't look weird and uh, the other option that we have is uh, you know we can use uh, the non-baking space characters here at the beginning of the paragraph so that we have the entire thing shifted the best and the most convenient way of uh, achieving this effect is uh, through the use of the block code tags now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, you know remove this p tag here and i'm going to instead type in block quote that's b l o c k q u o t e right and i'm just going to copy this and i'll paste it here right so we have the opening block quote tag instead of the opening p tag and we have the closing block quote tag instead of the uh, closing p tag i'll save this file and uh, when i view it in my browser now i see that you know the sentence is shifted by a few characters of space right so this is what the block quote tag does and uh, let's say you don't want this block you know this entire block of uh, you know text to be uh, indented instead uh, you want quotation marks around uh, the text right so in that case the tag that you'll have to use is uh, known as the quote tag or the q tag right so it's just the alphabet q and uh, i'll have to change it here too at the ending position so i'll get rid of block quote and simply have slash q i'll save the file and uh, now when I uh, refresh it in my browser, I see that I have quotation marks around the quote. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Right, so that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss more HTML tags, more features. And uh, thank you so much for watching this one. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.